today we're working with a Walker B18 mulching mower. I love it. It does a lot of the smaller smaller reserves that, and it does a, a more of a profile cut than, than some of the other mowers that just do the grunt work. I'm Tracy Woodcock from Parks and Reserves and I run the mowing team and we cover areas from Waitahanui right through to Kinloch. There's nine of us in total and four in Turangi and one among Kino. At this time of year, the grass is just like it's on steroids, so we're pretty much hard out cutting as fast as we can cut. We have a mowing app that we follow, so we have some variables in there, whether it's a one, one week mow, two or three weekly mow. Um, and when one of the operators um, mows the area, they put the date in that they've mown it, note any hazards that they can identify. We do put a lot of hard yards into it and behind the scenes like we'll, we start um, spraying for only hunger weed and things like that and Cape Daisy and um, we'll under soak areas when they, the grass starts dropping dropping away and you know, we're, just, we're just starting to get into a bit more sustainable kind of things like putting in an agri product which is a seaweed product instead of a synthetic fertiliser so we're looking at a little bit more of a climate sort of responsibilities that we can put out there. I'm all about doing it, making it look good for the community at the end of the day so they get enjoyment out of all these parks that we, we look after. We, we, we love looking back and going, yeah, that looks good. So that gives us a buzz. So if we can make it look anything look good for the community, we do. So yeah. <laughs>